Local support for News 6 has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV. Hi, I'm Gina Ryman from Burr Road Middle School, Wasian. Welcome to News 6. We have April Loveland in the studio with our first story. Thank you, Gina. We take you into our first story to one of the places we find most exciting in Wasian, the train depot. It is a very colorful place and we learned many interesting things. Lori Drummer has more. What is the purpose of the Railroad Museum? The purpose of the Railroad Museum is to preserve the railroad heritage of this area for youngsters like you and others down the road to realize what went into building our communities. What kind of things do you have to see here? We have on display a conductor's cap, buttons and mold uniforms, old timetables, telegraph keys, and hand tools that is used to maintain the railroad right away, freight car, like you see here, the old ticket booth, and uh, several small items that I can't name at this time, and we're trying to purchase other things to go in here. We have got a caboose on the grounds that uh, we're in the presence remodeling to make it, uh, I might say, enjoyable for people to look at. Why are you building the model railroad? About two years ago, Historical Society contacted several members of the Swanton Railroad Model Railroad Club. If they would be, we'd be interested in putting in toy trains to help uh, create traffic through the depot as a museum and also a display of toy trains. And we agreed to it and we're in the process of getting this going. We display trains from the early 20s right up through the modern day. And the trains all belong to the members of the society and the railroad club. We like to have the young people especially see what has evolved over the years as far as toy trains are concerned because they missed out on the evolution of trains as us older fellows have seen it. This new six is produced by the sixth grade class of Burr Road Middle School, Wasian. Wasian is located in Fulton County in the northwestern portion of the WBGU TV coverage area. It was founded in 1854 and it has a population of 6,180. Our, our second story is about a science exhibit in Burr Road Middle School. It was set up by Mr. Uphouse, a seventh grade teacher, in the summer of 88 to show his students how the life cycle works. What kind of animals do you have? Uh, in the Nature Center we have a number of different animals, uh, cold and warm-blooded both, ranging from toads to frogs, snakes, mice, uh, sparrows, uh, different types of fish, goldfish and minnows, uh, chubs, uh, crickets, different types of insects. We probably have a lot of other things in there that we don't even realize that we still have. Why do you have this exhibit? The purpose is, in my class, this is seventh grade science. Um, it's a life science class. We have an outdoor center that we go to, uh, which is a person's house. It has a, a pond and a woods and things, and we like to go out there and look at the animals and see how they live and uh, some of the different food chains that they're involved in. 
only problem is transportation getting out there, uh, and a lot of times the weather is a problem, so this kind of lets that, uh, the outdoors come indoors. Where do you keep your animals over summer vacation? Well, part of the project is that all of my students have a, uh, a specific organism that they're responsible for, and they get that in the fall, and they try to keep track of it during the winter, uh, and see you know, if it's died, if, it is, uh, if it's still living, if it has reproduced. And then the end part of this whole project is in the spring, a couple days before school ends, we let the animals go, or the plants, we bring them back to wherever we got them, or whatever the organism is. Do the animals reproduce? A lot of them that we have don't live long, don't live long enough, sorry to say, to reproduce. We had a mouse last year uh, that did, and I don't think the baby mouse survived past the week. I think it became a food source for something else, but I think that's in nature. That's the way it happens. So. Kids View this week, we tried to find out what we thought President Bush could do to step up the war on drugs. Our last story is about the same subject, so we thought this question very appropriate. Here are some responses. Hi, I'm Kelly Thornton with today's Kids View question. What do you think President Bush should do about the drug problem? We asked some students what they thought. I think that President Bush should put them in life in prison. I think President Bush should inspect every ship and plane and anything that could possibly carry drugs into the United States and execute the people for having them on. I think President Bush should close down all the drug factories so they cannot be made. I think President Bush should put them in life imprisonment for trying to push drugs. Our last story is about Wasian's drug dog unit called the canine unit. Dragon is the animal part of the team, and Officer Dave Dick is the human part of the team. Dragon, a German Shepherd, lives with Dick, has his own room. As Dick says, it's just like one of the kids. What drugs does he find the most of? He mainly locates marijuana and cocaine in this county. That's two of our most commonly abused drugs. How long did it take to train him? When we first got him, he was a little over two years old. They had started the training when he was approximately four months old in Germany. What language does he understand? He understands German and German only. He was born, raised, and trained in Germany. And uh, we kept all the commands in German to keep it simple for him. Is a German Shepherd the most common type of police dog? Yeah, German Shepherds are the most commonly used drug dog. Uh, they also use Labradors and Golden Retrievers. Do you find a lot of drugs in Fulton County? Quite a few drugs. Uh, Fulton County is no exception in the war against drugs. There's narcotics here just like there is any other place. I find quite a bit. Would you give us a demonstration? Yes, I will. Bye for now from Burr Road Middle School, Wasian. See you next week with the sixth graders of St. Mary's Clyde. Local support for New Six has been provided by the Northwest Ohio. Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV.